Hello everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.37 th question, chapter is duration proportion of class 6. The question is, cost of 4 dozen banana is rupees 60. How many bananas can be purchased for rupees 12, rupees 50 paise? So here they have given that cost of 4 dozen bananas is 60 rupees. So how to find out this one? Like they are asking different question this time. They are asking how many bananas we can purchase for 12 rupees 50 paise. So for that we have to know what is the cost of one banana. So let's find out that. Uh, so four dozens means how many bananas will be there. We know that one dozen is equal to 12. So there are 12 bananas in one dozen. So if it is four dozens which means it will be 4 into 12 which is equal to 48. So there are 48 bananas in the 4 dozen. I hope it's clear how we got it. 1 dozen means 12 quantity, 12, un, 12 uh, items will be there. So 4 dozen means it's 4 into 12 which will be 48. So 48 bananas are there in 4 dozen. Now we know that for 4 dozen the cost is rupees 60 means for 48 bananas so 48 banana price is rupees 60. Now we have to find out the cost of one banana. So how to find out that? So this 48 you can see right, we want to find out the answer of a banana. So transpose this 48 to the other side of the equation. So this will be equal to rupees 60 divided by 48. Now here I am trying to explain is this like which number to divide like I see have seen a lot of students get confused which number to divide with what. So if you are able to frame this one like 4 dozen is equal to rupees 60 and 4 dozen is nothing but 48 bananas are there in that. So what is the cost of one banana? So here we have to find out this banana right. So to send this number whatever number you have here send this to other side of the equation. Now you have learned the transpose method so this goes to division and we have to cancel the numbers. So whatever answer we got that will be the cost of one banana. Once we got the answer we can able to find out how many bananas we can purchase for 12 rupees 50 paise. So let me just frame this question. Let me rewrite this. So here number of bananas in 4 dozen is equal to 4 into 40 uh, 4 into 12 which is 48 right now we have to find out the cost of one banana so therefore cost of one banana is equal to we know that cost of 4 dozen banana is 60 right, it is given the question. So it will be 60 divided by 48, rupees 60 divided by 48. So I will just write down the statement here, there is another statement. So it is given the question again, uh, since cost of 4 dozen banana is equal to rupees 60. So Using this, we can able to find out the cost of one banana. So let's divide them. So I'm going to do a cancellation here. We can cancel this number in two table or four tables completely on you. I'm going to cancel this number in four table. Four ones are four, four twos are eight. So we've got twelve here, and six doesn't go. So four ones are four. Two will be the remainder. That I'm going to write this along with zero. That makes the number twenty. So four fives are twenty. I'm using cancellation. So cancellation means you have to divide both the number with same number. So choose a table in which both number will go. So 60 and 48 both go in 4 table. Okay, 4 into 15 is 60 and 4 into 12 is 48. So I have cancelled it. Now I got 15 and 12. So 15 by 12. So 15 and 12 both go in 3 table. So I can cancel in 3 table. 3 5s are 15, 3 4s are 12. So this is equal to 5 by 4. Right. So if I convert this into a decimal, it will be equal to. So you can divide this. We want to divide 5 and 4. So 4 ones are 4, 1 is a remainder. So use a decimal point, we will get 10. So 4 twos are 8, 2 is a remainder. Since we have used a decimal, I can use 0 here. So 4 fives are 20. So which means it is rupees 1.25, which is 1 rupees 25 paise is the cost of one banana. 
Now the question is, how many bananas we can purchase for 12 rupees 50 paise? So if it's confusing you, I'm going to take one example. Suppose you have uh, 10 rupees, okay? And you want to purchase a chocolate and the cost of chocolate, one chocolate is rupees 2. So how many chocolates you can purchase for 10 rupees? How many chocolates you can get? So what you're going to do, you can see that how many 2 are present in 10, right? Or you're going to divide this 10 by 2. You will get 5. So 5 chocolates you can purchase for 10 rupees, which are like in each chocolate is 2 rupees. Similarly, I know that I have to find out what, how many bananas I can purchase for 12 rupees 50 paise and cost of one banana is 1 rupees 25 paise. So to get how many bananas we can purchase, we have to divide these two numbers. So let's divide these two numbers. So here, therefore, number of bananas number of bananas purchased for rupees 12 12 rupees 50 paise will be equal to divide these two numbers so 12.50 divided by 1.25 so you can you i hope you all learned how to do this uh, we have a decimal point in the numerator and in the denominator, so we are going to remove them. So remove decimal point from the numerator and there are two digits after that which means we will get 100 in the denominator. And since we have already 1.25 in the denominator, we have uh, they will get multiplied. Similarly, remove decimal from denominator and there are two digits there, right? So there will be 100 in the numerator, same thing like how we have learned this in your 4th and 5th class how to remove decimal, same thing I am doing here. So I'm going to just rewrite this once again. So we have here 1, 2, 5, 0 multiplied by 100. And here also in the denominator, I have 125 multiplied by 100. So 100, 100 will get cancelled. 125 ones are and 125 tens are. So I got 10 here, which means I can purchase 10 bananas for 12 rupees 50 paise. That's it. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have any other question or doubts, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.